Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to The Terrible Old Man, which is based on the short story written by H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, this is made by Cloak and Daggers, which, if you have been watching my channel, uh, have also made a Daily in the Park, which I will have a link at the end of the video, which was a very odd, weird, stupid, kind of, but fun, uh, point-and-click adventure. So here we are. Um, so Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham. That's right. I've been talking to a guy out there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, does she? <laughs> Incredible. Chesney, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old bra the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel here spends it on Hoochman let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click to observe, inventory move to the top of the screen. Okay, so let's go to the barman. Free beers over here. Where are you boy where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in King's Bot. We can laugh after each other. Free beers. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Two dollars right here. Free beers coming up. That's pretty cheap for beer. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. <laughs> Sigh. Dickie eating dinner tonight? I swear we set a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't as so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You better take him to Doc Reeves. He'll get it to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since he's run in with that old fellow the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort. I've seen him around town, pays for his groceries and gold doubloons. I've heard of him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on the table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, and a most peculiar chap. Best I avoid it, I think. No need to upset such folk. Some of you need to tell, teach Dickie a bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see, and the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. Mm. Oh dear. You stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows, and well, they ain't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. You must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that. Using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captain clipper ships in the east on cannibal years back and brought them untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. I am, I'm sorry if I'm trying to put through the voices, but... Yeah. Boys, you're not going to believe it. Oh, some, something with a date with the broad. He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. We'll spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. Ha <laughs> ha. That sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got now for. Oh boy, this should, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Chesnick. Find out where we might find Rich's tonight. Uh, that's one mighty fine looking broad. What's she doing in this part of town? I do not know. Uh, okay, let's have a look first. 
try to decorate the stump with old prints. Some news clippings about an incident with a port. They're from a paper called the Kingsport Bugle. Okay. Some postal cards. Local Kingsport fisherman. Uh, there's nothing here, just dusty of local goons. Alright, let's go talk to the broad then, shall we? Say there, miss, can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, Greaseball. Hey, hey, no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate with someone else. Maybe to your mother. Wow. Ha! Struck out again, Shesnick. Mm, suit yourself. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll go to the men. And try and talk to them. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about no man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? Cosmopol cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. You said something about bottles? Sometimes people see him through his window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on the table. Each bottle has some sort of object inside, pendulum, some say, and he's been seen to chats of him, waving his arms about. Him. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind too much time at sea. You was a sea captain? Yes, but back in the time, nobody remembers. Rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. Some say he talks to the bottles as if they were his crew members. What else do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. The old man live. His house is along the coast, crumbling ancient pile it is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? Treasure hunter, are you? Yes. Get out of here, you bum. We don't want no stinking thieves stinking up our town. Yeah, get out of here before I get my town guard. No, no, I mean, well, yes, I appreciate treasures like every other man out there. I have no intention of robbing the old goat. Well, then, why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Oh, uh... We wish to interview him for the local paper. What's, what's the name of the local paper, then? It's the Kingsport Bugle. Ha <laughs> that old rack is... Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Um, commune. Uh, let's... I like that we can just keep guessing, though. Let's try one more time. All right. Found something out. We'll see you out of an old ornament. Let's have a look then. It's out the car. Fool dust. Get out of here. Okay. Uh. Salesman. Alright. Well, apparently I can't get the information. Uh, oh, you're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight. I'm a very persistent man, man. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Cocky. Um. Barman. Talk to the barman. <sighs> Maybe I can get the beers. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So now we know what the um the local paper is. <laughs> Nonsense! 
It's as if you've come up here and said every possible combination possible. I said possible twice. <laughs> Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. It's probably back onto Ship Street near the shore. Aside his home, a curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come on, boys. Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we just passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Chesnick, you take the car. Silver and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Later that evening. <laughs> all right, we're all here. What's the plan, boss? Silver. You and I will go in through this here gate. Chesnick, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light up on there, Chesnick. Can you have a bad look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to... Oh, it's in the it's in the trunk. I've got to get spyglass. It's in the trunk. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Oh, I better get the car key for it. Uh huh. Oh, okay. You guys holding out on me? Hmm. Hmm. There we go, okay. Oh, what was that? Alrighty, uh, so we can go and get the trunk key and open up the trunk and get these by glass. That was a creepy sound. I mean, it's Lovecraft, so obviously something is creepy about the man or something. Okay, good robber, always come prepared. We got spyglass, crowbar, and some masks. Oh. Creepy old man is walking around. Okay, so let's go and get spyglass. Yep. Spyglass and window. Oh wow, that is a lot of bottles. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Good work, Chesnick. He's really, he really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out there, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Hey, pathetic. We've got our masks then. Yeah, let's give them the masks. Here's the masks. Okay, let's like get the gate open. Alright. Crowbar. Crowbar. On the gate. That was piddly sounding crowbar sound. Ha! We are in. Good work, Chesnick. Okay, soon. Let's go in. How are we gonna play, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. Let's see if gold has ever been hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to do. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Silver, you've hit the nail on the head. Just Nick, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Remember, be gentle. Now what? Oh, the old man just turned his light out. One hour later. What the hell is taking him so long? 
Oh. What's happened? The bed knob knocked the old fella off. I told him, I told him, I said, don't go too hard on the old goat. Oh. Ah, here they come. I mean, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be the old man, isn't it? Yeah, it's the old man. Uh, get the fuck away. Drive away. You heard screams. Oh, shit. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. Lovely. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. There you go. That's Lovecraft for you. So, that was the terrible old man. Uh, it's a little taste into what HP Lovecraft does. Um, if you uh, want to have a go at this game, um, there'll be a link in the description towards it. And also, if you want to read up on some Lovecrafts, I mean, it's always good to read up some Lovecraft, and that is creepy as fuck. Barracuda. So yeah, sorry, the, uh, the game ended uh, pretty promptly afterwards. So yeah, so if you liked this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more indie gems as well as other games, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment in the comment section below as to your interpretations of some HP Lovecraft, I mean, who doesn't like a bit of Lovecraft? Uh, if you, and if you want to play the game, there'll be a link in the description to the game. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Gem, signing out.